to the Startup Lab ShopBot. ShopBot wood router, or it's like a CNC, which means it's controlled by a computer. Computer controlled wood cutting. Plastics, wax, uh, cannot do metals like uh, aluminum, steel. That's a regular CNC, so this is more wood, those type of materials. Behind me is the ShopBot. Probably of all the machines that we have in our lab, this is the most dangerous. I, I don't want to use the word dangerous to make it you know, scare anyone. It's just it is something that is computer controlled with a motor that can grab you if you're not careful or smart. So if we look at the ShopBot right off the bat, you can see right here, hopefully you can see, there's a uh, tooth or like a rack and pinion. And then this body, this carriage, moves back and forth. So this is the area where you could get your hand caught. Um, when you do come to use this, we're going to have this marked off so you can't reach in there. I don't have it on today. But just so you understand, this is a no-no, any reaching or grabbing over like that. The machine is laid out in an X, Y, Z coordinate system. So again, this is the router head that will move. Uh, the way that this is laid out, the length of the machine is the x-axis, back and forth is the y-axis, and the router itself up and down is the z, and that is the way you'll also do your program. Here is your working surface. If you look closely, you may recognize this material. It's just MDF three-quarter inch, four by eight sheet you can get from any Home Depot. It's called a spoil board because you can spoil it. In other words, you can cut into it. So we take whatever we're doing, bolt it to the spoil board, and in, not in this case, because we stop before the thickness, but in many cases, you'll cut through and into the spoil board. I don't know if the video can see, but you can even see lines on our spoil board from past projects. As this turns to Swiss cheese, we rip it off, put a new one, level it. So again, the spoil board is meant to be cut into. So that takes some of the pressure away and you can cut through materials. So moving carriage XYZ, uh, it is wood. It is plastic, which means it's going to make particles or especially in the wood, sawdust. Sawdust is dangerous, believe it or not, when you have an environment of electronics because it makes dust and powder. So because of that, this machine is hooked up to a tube system to a dust collector and it does a fantastic job of uh, sucking up almost all of the dust and all of the debris uh, which is really important. Um, up to the ceiling now there is the issue of the bag gets filled so you know as you're working you may want to check to see is the bag full. Um, also you want to make sure that the dust collector is on when you're working. So now that you've had a basic introduction to the machine the next step is to load the tool or what tool are you going to use for your job and that tool is located underneath what's called the dust skirt. Um, I could have had this all prepared but I thought it was more important for you to see how to get to the tool because right now it's down low so I'm going to show you how to get that up to where it's a working uh, at a working height and what we do first is go to the computer. So on the computer a couple things to note. Number one is there's a USB cable from the tower of the computer to the machine. That has to be plugged in. Nothing happens on this machine if it's not communicating to the shop bot. It will just give you an error. So number one, that has to be plugged in. So on the desktop, you're going to see an icon that says shop bot. That's the main operation program for this machine. You will open that and hit the magic key K. Why is it K? I don't know. That's the hot key that the program picked. You hit K and you'll see a jog, yellow jog window open. As long as our computer is plugged into the machine and it has power of course, these jog buttons are live and active right now. And the reason I'm showing you this is again we're loading the tool and I'm going to use these jog buttons to move the uh, machine. If you look at these buttons there's a left, right, up and down. But what we have to do is you need to think of these buttons being exactly the same direction as what the machine is sitting. In other words, if I hit the left button, it's going to pull our carriage to the left. If I hit the up button, it's going to move the carriage back towards our wall. Down button will pull the carriage away from us and the right button will move the carriage back in that direction. 
And I always think you were just, I take this screen and lay it flat, those buttons would all be pointing in the correct direction of the movement. Lastly are these two buttons, Z up where the tool is, the, or the router itself, and Z down, so Z up and down.